Hi everyone, I'm Cody at W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems, and today we're going to be showing you how to set up Wi-Fi on your SkyBridge with your cell phone. So first things first, we have our SkyBridge, uh, it's plugged into power here, and what we're going to do is open up our cell phone. Uh, most modern cell phones have a, a personal hotspot, that's what we're going to be using today. Uh, but to actually connect to the SkyBridge to configure it first, uh, we are going to have to join its Wi-Fi network. So the SkyBridge actually hosts its own Wi-Fi network, which is really neat. So we're gonna open up Wi-Fi here, and there it is, Pi-Star. Now, I've had this plugged in uh, maybe about five minutes. Be patient, because sometimes the network won't show up. So we're gonna go ahead and click on it. Uh, but if it doesn't show up straight away, don't be discouraged. You may have to leave it on for a little bit and refresh your Wi-Fi feed until it shows up. Okay, there we go. So at this point, we have the entire configuration panel. So we're gonna go up top and go over to configuration, click on that. There we go. There we go. So we're actually in the PyStar configuration. We could set up the entire hotspot this way. We could add our DMR ID, everything like that if we wanted to. Uh, you don't need a computer necessarily to set one up as long as you have a cell phone. So what we're going to do is scroll down to the bottom under Wi-Fi configuration. So I'm gonna zoom in there. There we go. And click on configure Wi-Fi right up there. And just like on a computer, what we're gonna do is we can scan for networks, or in this case, if we wanted to add a network, we can click Add Network. Uh, now beforehand, it's a good idea to know what your network information is. Uh, if you don't know that, uh, we'll show you how to get that here in a second. So go ahead and enter the information here. So I've got the password entered there. And at this point, we can just go down here and click this save and connect button. Click that, there we go. And we should be set, I usually end up hitting apply changes as well. I don't know for sure if that makes a difference, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That'll restart the SkyBridge and make sure everything gets saved. Awesome, there we go. So at this point, we can get out of here, so just hit the cancel button. Uh, let's see, use other network, that's fine. And we'll show you how to get that information. So if you don't know, at least on an iPhone, very similar on lots of other phones too, uh, there will be an option for personal hotspot. So if you click on that, you'll be able to find your information. So in this case, it shows my Wi-Fi password. So that's the password for my personal hotspot. Uh, that's what I just entered inside of the SkyBridge. And then it shows the name down here. So your shared network is Cody's iPhone. And make sure to pay attention to the punctuation or capitalization structure, because that does make a difference both in the name and the password. Uh, that has to be correct. Also watch out for spaces. Uh, we've had cases where there's a space, you didn't even know it was there, and it, uh, it will not connect. Uh, so you just have to be aware of that. Uh, you can change either one of these. Every phone may be a little bit different, but that is what you're looking for, the username and password, and that's what we entered in here. So once this is turned back on, uh, to actually get it to connect to the phone, at least on, uh, on these iPhones, what you'll want to do is actually stay in this hotspot menu for the first time. So what we're gonna do now is just restart the hotspot. I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in here. And you could also, we could have restarted it from the configuration panel too. So we'll wait for it to come back up. And because we're not connected to ethernet, it was it's going to actively look for that Wi-Fi network. Oh, there we go, it found it. So you can see right up there, is it booted back up? It's now connected. Uh, that blue dot up there in the corner means we're connected. Uh, like I said, it'll be similar for lots of different varieties of phones, but on the iPhones, you actually have to stay in this menu for the first connection. Now at this point, uh, we don't have to be in the menu anymore. We can turn our phone off, do whatever with it, and next time we boot up our SkyBridge, uh, now that it's programmed in, it will automatically connect. Now I do wanna note one thing. Uh, when you put your Wi-Fi networks in your SkyBridge, I would always recommend uh, putting in your cell phone first. Uh, the reason being is it's going to prioritize searching for that network. So if you're in a, an environment where you have your home and your vehicle, maybe you're just leaving in your vehicle, uh, you want it to connect to your phone or your cell phone hotspot versus your home in that case. Uh, so whatever is the more important one for you, I would recommend putting that first in the network list.